welcome back. I'm sitting on a bed, so it's a little creaky, but this is my third time redoing this. How many more times is there to go? Well, anyway, let's just get into it. Strawberry Vanilla, Chapter 8, Cat Noir. After a long sleepover with her friends, Marinette went back to the bakery to finish up some more stitching of a new ladybug design. Hard in concentration, Marinette finished her cross stitch and then stepped back to admire her work. When her phone dinged, was it another text from Alia? Marinette walked over to look at her phone. It was from Adrian. That's weird. She literally just saw him. What could it possibly be? Marinette opened the message. There was a picture of a red dress and black polka dots stitched on to look like a ladybug. One of her works. The text beneath the photo read, Is this one of your works, Marinette? Well, it was no secret Marinette was the ladybug designer, though many Parisians didn't even care about who the man behind the madness was, so most people didn't know who the designer was. How did you know I'm Ladybug? Marinette responded. Just a hunch, but looks like I was right. And I overheard you and Alia talking about Ladybug costume making, Adrian replied. Well, you caught me, but it's really no secret. I just don't like showing my face around in public. Hey, I could be your advertising helper. What? Adrian seriously wanted to model for my amateur brand, Marinette thought. But there is a catch, Adrian included. What is it, pretty boy? Marinette said. You need to custom make me an outfit to wear. What kind of outfit? Marinette asked. Hmm, still thinking about that. I want it to be opposite from your ladybug man. What's opposite from a ladybug? Marinette typed. A black cat, he replied. How is a black cat opposite from a ladybug? Marinette replied. Well, ladybugs are good luck and black cats symbolize bad luck. Huh, I never thought of it that way. Of course you haven't, he replied. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just you need to expand your marin your imagination, Marinette. So basically, you want to be called Black Cat, Marinette asked. No, it doesn't have the right ring to it. And what does? Marinette questioned. Cat Noir. Cat Noir. You could say it more enthusiastically. We're typing. You don't even know how I'm saying it, Marinette said, giggling down at their exchange messages. Anyway, just start making things that are edgy and black, or cat-like, and then we'll talk, he responded. And Marinette could tell, even without seeing his face, he was wearing his usual Cheshire grin. Huh. Guess Adrian was more like a cat than Marinette thought. Wow, what are you, my boss? Marinette said, resuming their conversation. About to be, at least, he responded with a little winking cat emoji, and Marinette had to cover her mouth with her hand to keep her from scaring the customers downstairs with the laughter that would most certainly revisit her later. Marinette started typing out a you wish comeback and stopped when it showed Adrian was no longer online. Huh. He must have had to do something, Marinette thought. It didn't seem like Adrian was the type of person to leave mid-conversation, so Marinette thought something urgent most likely popped up. No more talking for today, she told herself. Sighing, Marinette went down to the bakery to start an extra shift at work. It was kind of unfortunate she didn't have anything better to do than work when she was bored, Marinette often thought. But she didn't mind it. Work was a good way to get her mind off things. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, and 
I'll see you all in the next one.